Data center versus data warehouse for dummies. What's a data center versus data warehouse? Easy answer. A data center is a physical place where servers are all set up. A data warehouse is a data structure on a server, whether an on-premise data center or cloud-based. Here's a quick guide. What's the difference between a data center and a data warehouse? The difference between a data center and a data warehouse is easily seen. A data warehouse is a physical room or building where data servers and computers are stored. Whereas a data warehouse can't technically be seen at all. It's just a digital database in a server or computer. For a bit of clarity and hierarchy, try this. Data is stored in a database, on a hard drive, in a server, a computer, in a data center. What is an on-premise data center? An on-premise data center is data storage servers located on the premises of your company or data warehouse provider solution. Yes, it's that dark air conditioned room you might walk by on the way to the office kitchen. In some cases, these can be huge rooms and huge investments for companies. Plus, as the hardware becomes older and obsolete, it requires purchasing new on-premise data warehouse servers every few years. What is a data warehouse? Data warehouses allow businesses to share data within a network of different data sources. Generally, a data warehouse is intended to allow a business to analyze data, be used for reporting, business insights, and advanced analytics. The intent of the data warehouse is to bring together previously separate data and discover new insights based on how the connected data sources can now be used together. A properly structured and implemented data warehouse becomes a single repository for all data, allowing data sets to talk to each other. This connected data allows businesses of any size to discover new data insights that could lead to additional revenue. A data warehouse is designed for analysis, not record keeping. What is a database? A database is simply information organized in a certain fashion, commonly tables of columns and rows. These databases can store retail sales information, customer information, and any data you can imagine. Generally, the information in a database is intended to be used to record transactional information on a daily and regular basis. A database is designed for record keeping, not analysis. What is a cloud data warehouse? A cloud data warehouse is a data warehouse in a cloud, not in a local physical room or building. Data warehouse architecture has been moving to the cloud from on-premise data warehouses because of several huge advantages. Cost. Cloud data warehouses cost a lot less. Why? Well, generally, there are no licensing costs, nor long-term contracts. Plus, because it's a cloud, there's no hardware to buy nor maintain. And lastly, you pay less when your data storage needs are small. Then you pay incrementally more as your data storage needs grow. Scalability. Generally, a cloud data warehouse grows with your data needs. As you have more data to store, or as you add new applications, your cloud automatically grows. Performance. A more modern data warehouse architecture allows cloud data warehouses to process complex queries much faster. This is in part due to massively parallel processing and other modern data warehouse elements. Ease. A cloud data warehouse can theoretically be implemented in minutes, whereas a traditional on-premise data warehouse could take weeks or months to build. How much does a data center cost or a data warehouse cost? The cost of a data center can be thousands or millions of dollars. The cost of a data warehouse is effectively nothing, as it's just stored data. However, the cost of storage, management, and staff escalates quickly. They're really apples and oranges, just with similar sounding names. Data center costs. Data center costs are generally large. A data center used by Nike or Facebook might cost 100 million or more, while a startup's data center might cost 10,000 or more. Generally, we see clients allocating 1 million or more to a data center. Data warehouse costs. Data warehouse costs can start small and grow quickly. It's not uncommon for costs to start at 20 cents per hour on a monthly contract. However, most companies don't have small data warehouse investments. Generally, we see clients dedicating a budget of 25,000 to 100,000 per year to their data warehouse management. Why would I implement an on-premise data center? There's really only one reason we see to implement an on-premise data center, compliance. If your business requires that you have complete control over and visibility into your data, then an on-premise data center is the only solution. For every other situation, a public cloud is a more cost-effective, scalable, modern solution. How long does it take to create a cloud data warehouse? You can create a Snowflake cloud data warehouse in under an hour. 
However, creating the data warehouse and implementing it to be useful are different things. We generally schedule about four weeks to evaluate the typical needs of a client for a cloud data warehouse. Top cloud data warehouse solutions. While there are a huge variety of cloud data warehouse solutions, we generally only recommend three, Snowflake, Microsoft Azure, Amazon Redshift. When do I need a cloud data warehouse consultant? The larger companies have the funds to consider hiring a full-time data warehouse engineer. Startups and medium-sized businesses might consider a specialist consultant to help them implement and get rolling. At nextphase.ai, we help all sorts of companies migrate to data warehouses, from global companies to Bay Area seed startups. The common issues we've discovered is teaching teams to maintain their virtual data warehouse and set up new dimension tables. We get a lot of follow-up calls and emails asking for tweaks and additions. Our recommendation is to do exactly this way. Get an expert consulting team to help you migrate and get everything functioning perfectly. After you discover the power of this new advanced data analytics system, only then should you consider whether the ROI warrants additional investment. Whether that be a full-time data warehouse engineer, training an existing engineer, or simply continuing to work with a third party like NextPhase. Have questions? We would love to talk tech with you. Call or email anytime for a free consultation. Thanks for watching.